Hello guys welcome to Vision Lads. This is class second of Photoshop for beginners. Here in this course I will give you a brief description of every tool in Photoshop and its use. So without any further ado let's get started. First, we will discuss about the marquee tool. Select this tool and draw in rectangle like this, using left click. Now this is a selected area. In short if we draw something it will remain inside this area. Like this. But as you can see I cannot move this. Well, this is because I did not create any new layer. And I drawn on the background layer. To create a new layer, click on this icon here or press Ctrl plus Shift plus N. If I draw something on different layer I can easily move them like this. Now back to Marquee Tool. There are also some different properties of Marquee Tool. Here are four. First one is Simple Marquee Tool. Second one is Add to Selection, which means it will automatically merge the new selection with the old one. Third one is Subtract from Selection. It will automatically subtract the new selection from the old one. And last is Intersect with Selection. It is a mixture of both add and subtract from selection. But generally, no one uses them. There is a shortcut for them. If you want to add to the selection just hold shift while making new selection. And if you want to subtract from selection hold alt while making new selection. And for intersect hold both shift and alt. Next is feather. Feather is used to soften the edges of the selection. Let's add some feather and make a new selection. And fill it with any color you like. Now make a new selection without feather. And you can easily see the difference. But this is not the right way to add the feather. First make the selection, now right click on the selected area and select feather. And give feather according to your liking. Thus, you can provide different feather to different objects. Next is select inverse. Just make a normal selection. Now right click on the selection and click on the select inverse. It will automatically invert the selection. Now you can draw anywhere. Except the area you selected. There are four types of marquee tool. But most of the time we only use two of them. One is rectangular and the other is elliptical. When you select the rectangle marquee tool you can also create a perfect square. Just hold the shift while making a rectangle and it will create a perfect square. And same goes for elliptical marquee tool for making perfect circles. Let's create something using only marquee tool. I am using alt plus backspace to fill foreground color in the selection. Now create something using only marquee tool. And send us. The best one will get featured in our page. That's it for today's video.